UPVs, underwater propulsion vehicles or underwater scooters as many scuba divers call them nowadays used to be heavy, big and expensive and for most recreational divers it just didn't make sense to own one. In recent years though, several companies have released smaller, more affordable and more consumer friendly underwater scooters, opening that niche for a much wider range of scuba divers. The newbie in this field, the K5, made by the company Edge Smart Drive, is the star of today's review video. Let's see if this tiny underwater scooter meets our expectations, right after the intro. January really isn't my favorite month of the year. It's usually cold and foggy, at least here in Zurich. So I take any chance I get to wander off to some tropical paradise, even if it's just in my thoughts. And today's review video gives me the perfect opportunity to do so. Just a little over a month ago, I was holding another one of my popular underwater video workshops, this time in the beautiful Maldives. And I had the K5 underwater scooter from Edge Smart Drive with me for testing. Me and my students had it with us on probably about half a dozen dives and were able to play around with it and get a good feel for this new underwater scooter. Today's review video will be structured as usual in three parts. In the first part I'll talk about the specs of the new K5. In the second part, I will talk about the things that I like about the new underwater scooter and the things that I don't like so much about it. And lastly, in part number three, I will share with you my opinion on who I think this underwater scooter is made for and in which situations it performs best. By the way, I did not buy this scooter with my own money, it was supplied to me by the company Edge Smart Drive to be able to test and review it here on the channel for you guys. They're not sponsoring this video though, so all the opinions expressed in today's review video are my very own ones. Nevertheless, this video today has another sponsor, a dive center that is not connected in any way with the K5 underwater scooter. Scuba Divine Maldives is a well-equipped, state-of-the-art scuba diving center based on Dangeti Island in the South Aria Toll in the Maldives. This place is without doubt a dream destination for any scuba divers, snorkelers or ocean lovers, whether you are using an underwater scooter or not. Located in the heart of the Maldives, Dozens of first-class dive sites are just a short boat ride away and you can dive or snorkel with mantas, whale sharks, turtles, big schools of tropical reef fish or a variety of different shark species all year round. Rifshan and his extremely experienced, highly professional and very customer-oriented team will go out of their way to make your dives in the Maldives unforgettable. And the best part is, they are specialized in accommodating underwater photographers and videographers, something that doesn't apply to many dive centers in the Maldives. Use the link in the video description below to reach out to Rifshan and his team and organize your dream dive vacation in the Maldives. And if you book 10 or more dives with Scuba Divine Maldives, you'll receive an extra two dives on top of your booked package completely free of charge. Just mention the code Matthias when making your booking. Thank you so much to Scuba Divine Maldives for sponsoring today's video and offering such a great deal to my viewers. And now, back to the review. The K5 underwater scooter is mostly made out of metal and makes a really well-made impression. The design is very efficient maximizing power and endurance while keeping a small form factor. 
This is not surprising considering that the company that makes the K5 underwater scooter has been making high quality model airplanes and helicopters for years. They surely know how to produce high quality, corrosion free, lightweight and powerful propellers. With a size of 275 times 269 times 133 millimeters and a weight of only 2.2 kilograms, it's very compact and portable. It comes in a durable transportation box and includes spare O-rings, a charger and USB-C cable, a action cam mount and a very colorful lanyard. The K5 is very easy and intuitive to use since it only has one button and a trigger which are both placed on the right handle. The button is used to turn the scooter on and off, to switch between the different operating modes and to activate cruise control, a feature I really like. The included standard battery is compliant with air travel regulations at 99.7 watt hours. You can optionally purchase a larger battery which will give you twice the capacity, but you won't be able to take the larger battery on an airplane. Through the quick charge mode, the battery can be fully charged in only 90 minutes and it's really easy to install and exchange. Since the battery is reverse charge compatible, it can be used as a power bank charging for example your smartphone, your tablet or even your laptop. On the top side of the scooter you'll find some indicator lights showing you which mode you're in and how much battery power you have left. There are three different operating modes to choose from, normal, sport and sport plus. Depending on which mode you're in, your speed as well as your runtime will obviously be affected. At the lowest speed, the scooter will run for 60 minutes continuously and at the highest speed, it will pull you through the water at 2 meters per minute, which is actually pretty fast and a lot of fun. This is all calculated with the standard 99.7 watt hour battery. If you're using the larger battery, the run times will be twice as long. The scooter is waterproof down to 50 meters, which is deeper than most of us will regularly go. The propellers are very well enclosed and there is no way you can squeeze your fingers through to the propellers. Safety first. The K5 comes in four vibrant colors and at a cost of $599. One of the things that I really love about the K5 is its compact size, which makes it really travel friendly. I just love the transportation box it comes in as it gives you plenty of space for all the accessories and is small enough to be put in a backpack to take it on the airplane as a carry-on. Despite its small size, the K5 really is powerful enough for most recreational scuba divers. Even when using it in the normal mode, it will be sufficient for most situations. On one occasion, for example, I used the K5 to pull myself and my body together from a wreck that we were diving on to the nearby reef wall, which was about 100 meters away. It did it with ease and we used it only in the normal mode. Given there was barely any current on that side, but it was a lot more convenient and comfortable for us using the scooter to get us to the reef wall rather than having to fin all the way from the wreck to the reef wall. And when you switch it to the Sport Plus mode, you can really have some great fun with this little scooter. I like that it comes with an action cam mount, which gives you the chance to use it as a tray and get some super smooth moving shots with your action cam. A big thing for me is also the reverse charging mode of the battery, transforming it into a power bank when it's not attached to the body of the scooter. This is great as it saves me having to carry an extra power bank with me on my travels whenever I have the K5 underwater scooter with me. 
And last but not least, I love that the K5 has a linear acceleration, meaning that the more you push down on the trigger, the more power will be produced by the propeller. This means you can start and stop your rides smoothly and not abrupt, like most other small underwater scooters do. The things that I don't really like about the K5 underwater scooter are quickly mentioned. One of the things is the runtime when you use it in the Sport Plus mode. I fully understand that using it at such a high power level, the battery will drain much quicker. But considering how much fun it is to use this little guy in the Sport Plus mode underwater, you just really don't feel like stopping playing around with it after 18 minutes have passed. I might need to get the bigger battery after all. Secondly, I'm not a big fan of the way that the K5 is showing you the remaining battery life. I know that it's a very common way to use the dots to actually show you the percentage of your remaining charge, but I would much rather prefer a little LCD screen that would give you the actual numbers of the minutes that you have left on your battery, sort of like my Kelden underwater video lights do. Maybe this is something that the good people at Edge Smart Drive can work on and maybe incorporate in a future model. And last but not least, the lanyard that is included in the package is a little too long. Even though the propeller protection won't allow any fingers to get too close to the propeller itself, the lanyard actually got sucked in there on the second dive and it got damaged a little bit. Nothing happened to the propeller itself, but I think that a shorter lanyard would be a better fit for the K5 underwater scooter. So who is this underwater scooter for? The K5 is definitely aimed at the recreational diver who wants to add some extra fun to their underwater adventures. At $599, it is a steal and will be affordable for most scuba divers. I definitely see myself taking the K5 underwater scooter on future scuba trips. It can help you to swim against a mild to medium current or to cover a larger area in a single dive. Imagine how easy it would be to cover all the top spots of a larger wreck or a reef without having to do excessive swimming, conserving energy and air, making the dive safer or even making it possible to do such a dive at all. And because it's so small, you can simply clip it onto your BCD whenever you don't use it. On the other hand, I wouldn't really rely on it to pull you against strong currents as you will have to use it most likely in the Sport Plus mode in these scenarios and the battery won't really last very long that way. So in general, I think that the K5 is gonna become a really popular underwater scooter for all kinds of recreational divers, especially in tropical waters. What do you think about the K5 underwater scooter? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more about the K5, use the link down in the video description below to hop onto the Edge Smart Drive website where you can also purchase the K5. I think I'm gonna get myself a second one of these scooters, but this time in the color black. And that's it for today's review video, guys. I hope this video was beneficial to you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more underwater video related content. Have a great week guys, and don't forget to capture all those amazing underwater adventures of yours. And I will see you back here on the channel next Tuesday. Take care and I'll see you soon.